Hey guys, this is Bruce from You Buy a Drone. We're going to go over tonight how to flash our ESCs. Uh, this is what's going to be contained in the package that you get from our website. It's just going to be your basic USB with the micro USB on the other end. It's going to come with an Arduino Nano. And then it's also going to come with the uh, alligator clips to power the ESCs with an XT60 at the end. You're only going to need to power the ESC via the alligator clips if it's not installed on a quad or you have no other means of getting power to the ESC and the Arduino is going to get its power from the USB cable from the computer. We're going to go over how to flash the UBAD Black Ninja series 12 amp ESCs. It'll be the same process for our 20 amp ESCs and this is so that you can activate beast mode or as the not so cool kids call it BL Heli. The what you're going to do is you're going to get one of these Arduino Nanos. Uh, we sell them on the web page. They'll come with all the pieces that you'll need to get it working and they'll all be tested before they come to you so it should be just a plug and play process on your Windows machine and your Macs. The pins that we're going to use, we're going to use the ground pin, the D2 pin, and the D3 pin. So on the other side of the board is where we're going to actually plug them in. I've cut these down for reference so I don't have to worry about making the mistake of plugging them in. The other thing that I do use for ease is a long servo lead. You don't have to use this. You can plug the ESC straight into here. This, this just makes it a little bit more simple. Um, so as I said, you're going to use the ground pin, which is going to be your first pin uh, that I have cut. So it's going to be the fourth pin in and you're just going to plug your, your ESC or your servo extension into that pin. Um, from that point, that's ready to go and you're going to plug the USB cable into the computer. So once you've plugged in the cable into the Arduino, you're going to need to flash the Arduino with the proper interface for the Atmel. So go to the interface for Atmel tab, you're going to go to the Arduino board, you're going to select the Nano with Atmega 328. You're going to come down and select the proper COM port that you saw. It'll only give you the one that, that it's going to communicate with. Select it, change your baud rate to 19200, and then you're going to make it Arduino USB link interface. I won't click this link, I've already done it. It's already been programmed, so it's going to fail if I try to do it again. After you've done that, you can come back to the Atmel BE SC setup tab and then at the top you're going to go to the Atmel slash SI Labs. Click this menu and select Atmel Arduino USB Linker Interface which is what we just flashed our Arduino to accept. Once that's done you can plug in your ESC into the Arduino board following the ground uh, pinout or if you've plugged in a, a servo extension then plug it into the uh, servo extension the proper way. Also, take the alligator clips from your kit that, that's included and attach the red to red and the black to black. So positive to positive, negative to negative, and just make sure they don't arc out on each other. You can also have that plugged into one of your 3S or 4, uh, 4S batteries. It'll even work on a 2S battery um, since they are rated for 2 to 4S. Once that's done, all you're going to have to do from here is select flash BL heli. Click that. It's going to pop up here and it's going to give you a full list of all the BECs. I have my favorites selected since I have only used the 12 amps on these. There's going to be a whole list of them. You're going to want to look for the blue series 12 amp and the multi for the multi rotor. You're going to highlight it, click OK. It's going to come to this screen. You're going to click yes and then it's going to start to write. Sometimes it's going to ask you to restart the ESC so you'll have to unplug it and plug it back in. You have about 20 seconds to do that and then it'll it'll flash. Um, sometimes it'll fail the EEPROM flash the first time. If that happens, don't worry. This is a common error that happens. Just go ahead and hit OK and do that process one more time and the second time usually goes through without a problem. So once that's flash, you're going to get a flash successful and it says it took you 19.391 seconds and then you can kind of make a game and see how fast you can get them flashed from then on out I guess. 
Um, once you've got that, you've successfully got BL Heli and whatever revisions out there uh, flashed to that ESC. From here, this is where you can activate beast mode which is basically going to be the light dampening. So you're going to go to the PWM frequency damped. Right now it's set to high, middle is going to be low, and beast mode is going to be dampened light. Now of course to take advantage of dampened light you need to be running the Ninja 32 board on clean flight and activate the one shot 125. The other important part when you're using dampened light, or like I like to call it beast mode, is your motor timing. So depending on what motor you're running, your motor timing is really going to be a factor. We have a list of what the settings are for each individual motor that we sell at You Buy a Drone. However, if you're not running one of our motors that we sell, you're going to have to do that uh, yourself to figure out what your timing is going to be. Uh, essentially, the higher the timing, it's usually for the bigger the motor. So with the motors that we sell with our Inversion R and our Inversion DX, it's the T-Motor 2206 2000 kV. The medium high motor timing is perfect for that. Um, the other settings you can change, but right now they're not doing much. The other thing that you can do is once you've got all of your ESCs wired, if one's wired backwards rather than having to rewire it, you can change your motor direction up here from normal to reverse that's going to reverse your motor so you don't have to swap the wires around. You can do it all through the software. The other cool thing is, is if you want to get into 3D flying, you can also do a bi-directional, which then is going to give you a motor reversal uh, via your throttle command. Um, right now we'll leave it at normal just for this, this sample. Once this is done, you write your setup. It's going to say that it's okay and it's done. You've now activated beast mode.